everyone, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got some machining going on, some welding going on. I was in a steam rally last weekend uh, with Richard. We took this engine along and I had it running on live steam for the first time. I'll show you a bit of film of that. And also one or two clips of the engines at the rally. I'm going to do the draw for the little verdict DTI. Uh, I'm mean, not here, Deb's at work, as only me, so I'll have to have a bit of courage about in the bucket. Quite a few names came in this week. And I've still got one or two things that weren't claimed, but uh, anyway, right. There's a one. Gavin Sanders. Right, Gavin, all you've got to do is send me an email with your address and I'll post that off to you completely free of charge. I'm going to do one of that giveaway this week. This time it's for a little tool I bought at a car boot sale. It's a little hand vise. You've seen me use these, I've got one or two of them. It's quite a nice one. It'll be really old. They are handy for hundreds of little things in. You can put them into a big vise and put small things in. I'll get a close up shot of that. There's no maker's name on this. It quite possibly hard made actually anyway if you want a chance of winning that all you have to do is send me an email that's my email up there email with your full name like John Mills not just John your name goes into the bucket if it's drawn out I'll post it off anywhere in the world that's right, completely free of charge. It's just a little way of me saying thanks uh, for all the help and support I've had. I've actually got people sending us in little odds and ends just pure and simply to use in the giveaway. I mean, it's like that there. I think I paid £3 for a car boot sale. I've already got two of them. It's pointless putting another one in the drawer. I've never ever used three at once. So somebody might as well have the benefit of it. When I was at the steam rally, I bought this die stock. Uh, it's got a half inch width with die in it. I wasn't worried about the die, but I, I didn't have a die wheel of this size. I want some new screws making and uh, a bit of clean up, but it's perfectly acceptable the way it is. I've been asked to make a top for a, a water tank or a traction engine. It's got a five and a half inch wheel. And this wants to sit inside it and it'll have a, a round plate on the top just it's basically just a lid the holes be measured at five and a half and i found this bit of pipe which is also a dead on five and a half it needs to be a good fit but it needs to go in so really this should be five and a quarter it'll be better and that's two ways i could do it i could possibly put it in the lathe and take a take a little bit off it but i like to keep it this thickness the other way i to cut it squeeze it up weld it do the same again i wouldn't get a true circle then but it'll be pretty near and i think it will still fit in i think that's the way i'm going to do it just cut it and weld it and because i would like to keep that thickness i'll mount it in the truck and see what it runs up like if it runs nice and true i think i might just try machine the funny's hair off it because it could do all the ends squared up anyway. Oh, you're doing, you silly Billy. Well, it appears to be running quite true. Right, that's what I'll do. I'll machine a little bit off it. Means I can sort this edge out.
Sorry, they're wall coming off here, them bastards. Yeah, me. Yeah, just taking off, I want to do a cut fingers. Just a case of turning it round now, turning that bit off. Yet, so that should go in there quite nicely. Right, I've done a quick drawing of a seven and a quarter inch circle, which is the size a lad wants the top to be. I'm just going to cut it out from some five mil plate. That's an awful lot quicker and neater than it. And I'm going to grind that. Absolutely spot on. Okay, right, so we've got the circle burnt out. And we need now is to put some tack wells in the centre of here. It's not going to take a great lot to hold it in. That looks good. It's normally when things look good, they're all good, which it is. to get a little dynamo um, one of the lads on it a forum I go to actually had a spare one on his car and I'm hoping to drive a dynamo off this to produce obviously some electricity it's an old dynamo but it's not really as old as I would have liked I would have liked it, like a permanent magnet type dynamo but this is a good start anyway so I'm going to fabricate a bracket and make a nice big pulley I need a control unit for it and we'll have this running and we'll charge the battery <laughs> charge the battery that work the lights on rich as steam wagon from it. And it'll be nice to put some load on the engine because it does sound a lot better with a bit of load on it. As you no know, doubt saw in the video it um, it run very well on steam. Had it running for probably four or five hours in total and it's really slackened off now nice and nice and free. I was gonna have a quick look at the bearing just to see what sort of what's happening but the oil the oil that's coming out of the bearings is lovely and clean. There's no brass there so it's it's obviously taking no harm at all.
Yeah, steak.